Did you know that Pinterest has 478 million users? That's how many people are using that site and that's how many people you can make money from by using Pinterest. And that's what we're going to be talking about today, using Pinterest to start doing affiliate marketing with. So make sure you stick around right now. First, if you're new here, I'm Ashley Tess, and on this channel, I talk about working from home and making money online. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a video. Pinterest is a great way to get started with affiliate marketing because it is free to use and it is a great way to use your social media for your pins to get eyes on your product as well as an opportunity for your pins to go viral. So the first thing is to make sure you open a business account on Pinterest. After you set up your business account, you need to choose a niche that you want to create your Pinterest boards about. Some popular niches are health, wealth, and relationships, or whichever topic you want to choose. So now you have your topic you want to make your boards about. It's time to choose your product that you want to promote around your niche. So a great place to find products around your niche is looking at marketplace websites like ClickBank or Digistore. Or you can Google your niche affiliate market products slash programs. And these would help you find different products to help promote. So here is an example of how you can search for a product on ClickPink. So once you log in, you're going to go to the marketplace up at the top. And on the side, you have all of your different niches and your categories. So maybe you want to choose a product in the health and fitness section. And you're going to go to the uh, sort results by, you're going to click on gravity. And this will show you the products that are being sold the most at this moment. And on the side, this is your average commission that you would make if you would sell this product. So maybe you wanna promote this flat belly tonic and you can click on the product and it will show you what it will look like usually their sales page if you feel like this would be a good product for you usually choose something that you feel like would that you believe in and you feel like it's a good product so this is their sales page for an example so that's an example of what you can look for for choosing a product so now that you have your product the next step is to get your link So now you have your link from your generate hop links and this is what you're going to do. You're going to copy and paste this link in a link shortener website. I use bit.ly.com. So here's your bit.ly. You're going to go to create. You're going to paste this long link, create. And it's going to give you this awesome shortened link right here that you will use to promote your products. So it looks more nice and more professional. And you would just copy and paste this link to start promoting your products. Pardon the interruption, but is this video giving you value? Are you learning from it? If it is, please consider hitting that like button. It would mean a lot to my video and my channel. So let's get back to our video. So after you have your shortened link, we are going to use a web page link website like Linktree to have all your links and products all in one place. So now here is your Linktree. So once you sign up, it should look like this. You're going to go to add new link. This is where you're going to copy and paste your link from your bit.ly, just like you have here or your tiny URL. 
So I'm going to do copy back to my link tree. And here is my URL. I'm going to paste and there is my link and you can title it. So maybe you want to title it tonic weight loss or whatever the product you are selling. And now you have your link in your link tree. It would look like this. And then you can share your link tree where you would copy this link and you would put it in your social media, but we'll get to that step next. So now that you have your link tree and all your links for your product, you are going to make pins around your niche that you chose on your Pinterest. So this is an example uh, of one that I created before around the health niche. So as you can see, I started to make some boards around a health niche and you would create different boards all about your about health or wealth or relationships based on the niche that you chose. I'm going to show you how to create a good pin where you can put your link from your link tree. So you may be wondering where to go to find different pictures and different, uh, different things that you can post on your pins instead of taking your own pictures. So you can go to this website called pexels.com. For example, if you're looking for a photo that we want to post with our pin with the flat, bun flat tummy uh, product, we can go and search for, maybe you want to look for abs, and we can look for a picture maybe that will that you think might be a good one, like this one, for example. Uh, this one also would be a good one for Pinterest because it is the long shape. On Pinterest, uh, you don't want to go for something wide like this one. You want to go for a long picture because that is the format they like. So you would go here. If you like a picture, you would just download your picture. And then you can edit the text on top of it. I will show you how to edit the text on top of your picture next. So to edit a pin, I like to use canva.com. They have lots of different templates and pictures and text that you can add to your designs. So I would go to create design at the top and they have different suggested templates. So you can look up Pinterest and see what the templates they have, Pinterest pin. It would also format the size that you would want. So here is your template. And they also have uh, sample ones if they have Pinterest or video, if you wanted to use a video in your ads. Uh, but some of them are pro version, so just be aware. But if you are interested in using Canva Pro, I would recommend it, especially for Pinterest. Video pins uh, do slightly better than regular pins because it's more engaging. So if you wanted to try to do video pins, I would suggest that one. But for today, I'm going to show you uh, since the picture that we looked at at Pexels, I'm going to choose a template that might be a good one. So for example, let's choose this template and we can change this photo to the one that, oops, to the one that we got, that we downloaded. So to upload a photo, you would go to uploads right here and you would go to upload media, so you would upload something that you saved on your computer, your Dropbox, 
whatever it is that you just downloaded. So let's find that photo. We're going to upload it right here. And it's uploading and we're going to put it on our Pinterest template. And we're going to add it here. And just like that, you have your picture that you chose on your Pinterest picture. You can also edit the text. Uh, you could keep this one. You can make it a simple saying. I also wanted to show that you can animate your pins. So say you wanted to animate this text on Canva. You can click your text. You can go to effects. Oh, that's the you can also change the font that you can go to it should say animate and they have different uh, animations that you can put on your text so some of these are pretty awesome if it has this crown symbol that is the canva pro which i recommend i use it they have more features but i like this stomp one so we're going to click it and now you have your pin you can publish to pinterest or you can download it. I'm going to download it so I can show you what to do next and where to put your link. So on Pinterest, let's go back to create your pin. We're going to click on this plus sign, create pin, and now you can upload your picture, but just something to be aware of, you can't download MP3, MP4 format photos. So the picture that we edited with the animation, uh, this that won't work to upload to a pin. So just be aware about that. But you can add those to different, you know, websites, blogs, social media. So let's go to upload to your uh, to your pin, find your photo, and we're going to upload it here. So here's your pin, add your title. So maybe you want to say, you know, something clever like the best way to start weight loss. You know, think of something you want to put. You would also put so let's not put that so let's put weight loss and you would put a description so in your description you would also use some keywords like weight loss or lose losing weight or how to lose weight lose weight fast so different things that people might be searching for you would try to also put that in your uh, description of your pin and where it says add a destination link, we're going to go to your link tree that you created. You're going to go to the top where it says share, copy my link tree URL. Let's go back to Pinterest, add a destination link. And now you have your link to your link tree where you can post it. And now hopefully you can get your pin to go viral I will show you how to promote and uh, get more eyes on your pins next. So now we want to start getting more followers on your Pinterest so they can start seeing your content and your pins. So one way to do this is if you go to the search bar, you're going to look for a topic that is around your niche. So if you chose, for example, the health niche, and maybe your product is about to lose weight, just like our example, we could go to the search bar and type in lose weight. And we are going to go to, actually, let me go back. Let's try that again. Let's go to lose weight. And we're going to search by people. And these are, for example, some popular, uh, popular people in the lose weight niche. So maybe I'm going to look at this person 
I'm going to, going to follow Audrey Johnson and then I can click on her profile and I can find all of these people that are following her. So these people are in the same niche that you are, your, your Pinterest is about. So that means they might be interested in your content as well. So what you can do is start following all of these people and uh, maybe they'll see a notification that someone is following them and they start to look at your Pinterest and your content and they will give you a follow back. Uh, something to be aware of though, Pinterest only allows you to follow a certain amount of people per day. So, uh, you know, follow as many people as you can per day so you can start building up your follow list and they will in return hopefully return the follow or at least look at your content. So that is one way that you can start getting some follows. You can start adding these people to follow you and in hopes they will look at your pins and follow you back. So that is one way you can start getting followers on your pins. Thank you for watching this video. If you've gotten value from this video, make sure you hit that like button. It would be an awesome way to show the love back for me creating this awesome video for you. And if you haven't yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can keep on learning and watching my videos and keep earning money. So I also have these awesome videos on the side where you can keep on watching and learning. Make sure you click on them. I will see you in those.